guy in a white suit here. You know, we're often asked, can I apply my powder when the part is hot? Oftentimes it's called hot flocking, a term which I hate and will never use again, but that is the same thing. That's what, we're, what we are referring to. Um, we can't say no, that you can't apply the powder when the part is hot. We recommend that you don't. We recommend applying it at room temperature, but we are aware of the temptation and the reasons why. So if you do, there are some things that you need to be aware of considerations that you need to make. Okay, now this one, this little car here, this one is uh, room temperature. This one has just come out of the oven. It's very hot. What we're going to do is we're going to spray this one first uh, and show you just some of the things that can happen if you apply the powder when it's hot. This one we're going to do the way we suggest and then we'll compare the two and talk about some of the considerations that you need to make as we're spraying that one. So one thing you want to make sure that if you choose to shoot hot, you want to have your powder cloud turned down or your powder dosage amount um, turned down pretty low. Uh, that way you can control the mill thickness a little bit better. So you can see here on the part where it's half of it is melted in and half of it is not. There's still some dry powder there. Um, that's one of the things that can happen when you shoot hot. You just don't know what your coverage is like. Okay, so here you, it's not really difficult to see the difference. This uh, car here definitely is a lighter color of blue um, versus this one, which is so dark that it's almost taken on this, this purple color. This is the one that we sprayed hot, and that's the, one of the pitfalls or potential pitfalls is not being able to control your mill thickness so well and you end up putting on a little heavier than maybe what you would have liked to. Uh, another point to mention is that if you choose to shoot hot, once you're done coating, make sure that the part has cooled all the way down before you put it back into the oven. So anyway, uh, we just wanted to shoot a quick video to kind of cover that topic. We've been getting a lot of questions about it, and so we thought it would be a good idea to let you guys know. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.